enter a room with so much star power, it's practically blinding. What happens when Emma Stone, Michael Keaton, Naomi Watts, Zach Galifianakis, and Ed Norton sit down together to talk about their hot new movie, Birdman? Well, as ABC's Chris Connolly found out, you get a little gossip, some cast confessions, and impeccable comic timing. What are you? I'm Batman. 25 years ago, it was the blockbuster that kickstarted the cinematic superhero era. Tim Burton's Batman, starring a 37 year old Michael Keaton. I've done a lot of things besides wearing a big rubber suit, and I did that pretty well, too. Did like, yours have nipples? No, no. <laughs> For much of the last 20 years, Keaton has had a low profile in Hollywood, but all that is about to change. Let's make a comeback. Thanks to his performance in this. You're Birdman. Yeah! You are a god. In what way has this movie been different for you? It's better than most of the movies I haven't watched. <laughs> Is this for real or are you shooting a film? A film! You people are full of music. Birdman is the story of down on his luck actor Riggan Thompson. Famous for his work in a series of films as a costumed Avenger, desperate to redeem himself artistically by directing and starring in a Broadway drama. Keaton is joined by Birdman's all-star cast, gathered exclusively for ABC News, including Emma Stone, Zach Galifianakis, Edward Norton, Naomi Watts, Amy Ryan, and Andrea Riseborough, each playing someone who's poised to present a personal or professional crisis for Keaton's character. Why don't you get your wings in your bird suit, man? Just when you think he's this kind of weak, desperate, insecure dude, he is that. But he's also this other thing. What he's doing is actually great and requires a huge set of balls, you know. It also takes a huge set for Keaton to play a character who some will connect with his real life self. Incorrectly, he says. Are you at all afraid that uh, people will say you're doing this play to battle the impression that you're a washed up super? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman 4. Hold the mantle! You, you do hold the mantle! How many Batman did I do? You did, you, uh, seven. You did seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, I did, oh, you did 16 Mr. Bombs. I was gonna say, Beetle, Beetlejuice Remember 1 and 2, right? House, yeah. And we watched it 16 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can't, I can't keep track. <laughs> now 63, Keaton says he made a conscious decision to get back in the game. Specifically in the last couple of years started saying, I gotta start focusing more on not being so lazy and going after the things. I mean, I always, always turned a ton of things down, but it's not like I turned really great things down. This was really as simple as you wait for that great script to come along, or you, you hope one will come along, and hope, you hope it's attached with a great director, and that's what happened. Zach and I usually do the not so great things that he turns down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why my name had to come up. <laughs> does she talk uh, and speak? She does, mm. yeah. She can even sit or stay or roll over if you have any treats. Shot almost entirely in and around a Broadway theater, Birdman gets its adrenaline from director Alejandro Iñárritu and his high-wire decision to shoot it without any visible cuts. We were attempting to do things that has, is very difficult to do, a comedy in a single shot. A very famous director told me, Alejandro, you are running to disaster and quit now. Larry. This is the theater, sweetheart. Don't be so self-conscious. Let's go. Walk. The propulsive result is thrilling for the audience, challenging for its crew and actors, required to be perfect for at least seven minute long seamless takes. We used to get to the 12th hour in the day and he felt that he had nothing in the can. And he lets you know it. Yes, I know, we have nothing, nothing. <laughs> I think you told me I was ruining the movie at one point. It's like, you're ruining the movie, you're going too fast, you have to slow down or you have to speed up. This is my chance to finally do some work that actually means something. It means something to who? Stone plays Riggins at a rehab daughter, intrigued by Norton's on the edge acting hotshot, who's fresh off a breakup with Watts' leading lady and who goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Riggin backstage, on stage, and off stage. Well, I'm sorry if I'm popular, Mike. Popular. You know, I don't give a popular. Riseboro's enamorata adds to Riggin's angst while trying to keep Riggin on the rails or Galifianakis as his producer. Hey, 
So, uh, why don't you try to rest a little bit? Ryan is his ex-wife. <laughs> It's such a strong emotional connection between them, and she's the person trying to ground him. There was no grounding Keaton in the 1980s. Irrepressibly clever and quick. Yeah, are you going to make it all 220? Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. In such films as Mr. Mom, Night Shift, and Beetlejuice. Yes, that's it! Name's Beetlejuice? Ah, you said it twice, just say it once more, come on. I've seen Beetlejuice about 600 times. <laughs> <laughs> that familiar comic edginess, perhaps too familiar to Keaton himself. Hi. I always figured if I'm in a movie once every like 18 months, I'm really wearing out my welcome. I just think it's way too much. I was feeling like I was pulling out some some of my old tricks or looking for new tricks. People will think you are this guy. You are the guy who's well, I, I by probably the superhero. It's movie. your mommy dearest. <laughs> Whoa, no wire hangers. <laughs> well, to some degree, no matter who you would cast, it would be that guy. Yeah. Keaton's aware he's not the only Birdman actor with a superhero past. Everybody keeps forgetting no, we have another superhero here. And you, Emma, have loved a superhero. Sure. Well, she's, yeah. well she, she is the daughter of Birdman and girlfriend of Spider-Man. So <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Any man. Um, <laughs> Turn the curtain down. Now earning rapturous reviews, Birdman and Keaton's performance seem likely to be part of the conversation through the awards season. I'm unbelievably blessed. This is this is 100% original. You know, you don't get more original than what Tim did with Beetlejuice and arguably what he did with the first Batman, too. Um, but this, you think, okay, I'm really lucky to get two shots at that. And then you get this, which is like a whole other thing. I mean, come on, somebody's looking out for me in a large way. <laughs> I'm Chris Connolly for Nightline in New York.